our organizational programs always center around the mission of support, education, and advocacy, and we remain very true to that. My name is Christy Balsells. I'm the executive director of Mito Action. I'm also the mother of three children under the age of seven, and my youngest daughter, Ava, who's three and a half, has mitochondrial disease. I first realized that I had um, a disorder was in elementary school when I realized that none of the rest of the kids had somebody following them around all the time. And I felt a little odd about it after a while, but I never thought it odd as I was growing up having somebody follow me because I was having it every day. It wasn't, it was totally normal to me. Um, I was born with it and it just became a part of me. Mitochondrial disease is an energy disorder. The mitochondria make energy. Some people have a faulty mechanism in their mitochondria for some very, very, very specific metabolic reason. And as a result, they don't have as much energy. And it manifests itself in a variety of ways and in a large spectrum of ways. If we can get people to um, join the mission who aren't ill today with a mitochondrial disease, then we can help to create a system of education and support for their families and their children. And um, we can't do it without people who aren't directly suffering from the disease. The organization was formed because as mitochondrial disease becomes a diagnosis which is um, blasted upon more and more families, there becomes a tremendous need for a place that you can go where you will have a fit for, with others who can understand what's happening with the disease and the impact that it may have on your life and can in turn give you as the parent or the patient tools and resources and insight which are going to help you to live with the disease. Giving myself the IV gave me back control over something that was out of control for years, my blood pressure, my heart rate. So being able to do that allowed me to have control again over something that is out of control, which is mitochondrial disease. It's out of control in your body. You have no control over it. You don't know when your batteries are going down. You can't control it. In our presentation, the disease, you have no control. It controls your life, what kind of day you have, where you go, what you do, what you're able to do. And so our ideas to spread awareness about the disease come from knowing that a community who understands what mitochondrial disease is will be better able to communicate with and collaborate with the person in their community who is living with the disease. We're just beginning to understand the impact that the mitochondria in the cell have on the body's ability to function. And one of the first organs that often fails is the neurologic system or the gastrointestinal system. As a result, these kids can have a G-tube. And I'm the mom of three beautiful girls <laughs> who have mitochondrial disease. She's had so many surgeries, hospitalizations, gone under anesthesia, so many times that I can't even count how many times she has. Um, we started with an NG tube because she didn't hydrate herself enough, and then from there went to a GJ, I mean a G tube. Mitochondrial disease is also in many cases inherited, and often inherited from the mother because your mitochondria are inherited from your maternal DNA. What that means is that there are families in which multiple members of the family are affected by the same disease. Patients have to travel to one of four areas of the entire country in order to be able to access care by a mitochondrial disease physician. This is a chronic but debilitating disease. So unlike a cancer diagnosis where a person can have a cancer diagnosis and then they have a team that rallies around them and you're always thinking about the end, let's get through this, let's get to the other side, let's get that cancer in remission. The end for mitochondrial disease is basically succumbing to the disease in some fashion so that the ultimate end is that the patient would experience death because there is no medical treatment and there is no cure. And what people do try, they truly are trying. We're 
looking at the tests and saying everything looked fine. But when you go to a mitochondrial disorder on a cellular basis, that's something you can't capture on a film or an x-ray. What a great gift to be able to not only interact with those people, but to also know that by sharing your gifts, you're helping families to be able to really live the life that they were given, no matter how long it may be. How are you supposed to reach your dream if, if it's always being suppressed by your disorder? Becoming involved in a way to help others, I think, is a goal that many people have. And if you were interested in really making an impact and knowing that the gift that you gave, whether it be of your time or your talent or of your finances, knowing that that would be put to good use, I think is something that you can feel good about if you were sharing your gifts with MitoAction. Smile even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky you get by if you smile through your fears and sorrow. Smile and there'll be tomorrow. You'll see the sun come shining through if you light up your face with gladness.